Hello again everyone, sci-fi guy 86 here, once more on my sci-fi guys Minecraft channel. I'm here in my redstone world this time. I wanted to give you a few of my 5x5 five five doors. I, I want to bring you as many of them as I can. I've got about 10 to 15 that I've been building on my Xbox world. And I just found out that most of them work on a PC as I built them on the Xbox world. So, okay, so this is the first one. Uh, it is a smiley face door. When I press the button over here, you'll see that it is a very quick retraction as well as a very quick extension. Smiley face door. What's nice about this door is that in adventure mode, it would work beautifully. If you don't have break block privileges, it would work beautifully. Um, and it works on Xbox and PC. Um, bad part about this door is that there's that hole right there in the floor with a piece of redstone in it. That was unavoidable, but at least it's better than checker door, and it doesn't have the repeater right there. It just has the dust right there, so that's nice at least. Um, I hope I hope this will work for you guys. So yeah, let me go ahead and get started on the tutorial for it. So what you're going to need is a uh, five wide by five tall uh, square for your door, and that's going to be wherever your door itself is going to be is where you're starting. Um, the, on the sides, you're going to want the top two to be your wall color, whatever your wall color is. Uh, very bottom one, the same thing. But these two, you need stairs, and they need to be in the exact position that they're in here. Uh, one needs to be facing you up right, and then the other one needs to be facing away upside down. Okay? And the same thing on this side. Now up here, what I did, I actually did sandstone... Uh, and smooth sandstone. So this is sandstone stairs, sandstone bl blocks, and it gives it a slightly uh, standoutish look from down here. You can kind of tell that those are the eyes, and you can kind of see that that's part of the door too, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but the bottom one is flush in there, so if you wanted to use a different set of blocks to where they blend in, be my guess, the only thing that would give away this door is this block right here on either side. Okay, so let's get started on this thing. very first thing you're going to need is uh, to set up your double piston extenders on the side. Um, what I like to do for that, let me go ahead and switch to smooth sandstone because I prefer that, is a very quick little contraption. This works on, I've been using this on a lot of my 5x5 doors and it works really well. It's just a very simple horizontal piston extender. Okay, so let's just go like this. That's on two ticks. That's on four ticks. Redstone dust right behind those two repeaters. Another repeater right here. This one's on five ticks. Dust, 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 dust. And then three repeaters here, all on one tick. And the reason I did that is just so it doesn't interfere with any of these here. I want that to go directly to this block, so that or to these two blocks, so that it powers the piston once it gets extended. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put lever, flip it. As you can see, we get a full double piston extension and a full double piston retraction. Okay, so let's do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, so block, 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 block. Okay, and then you want to do your repeaters, same thing as we did on the other side. So you want to do two, four, dust, dust, repeater, this one on full, so four. And then right here, oh, jeez, come here, dust, 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 and then repeater, 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 okay, and then right here, the most important part here, if this isn't working, it's probably because you haven't placed that block, okay, so, there it is, very simple, and this, like I said, works on both Xbox and PC, this little contraption, so that's very nice to have. Um, and then uh, the vertical, we're actually going to get a vertical uh, double piston extender in here as well. But what sucks about it is it's slightly different. Uh, it's a, a little harder to do than on the on the sides. Okay. So what I've what I've done is I've put a little dust right here, as you saw on the on the floor in that other one. That's the floor of the piece that gets shown. Okay. So right here I put a power line with a uh, four tick repeater, dust, and then directly below that, I'm going to do another line of power, 
coming out from that block to there. And then you want to repeat it right there, but on two pit ticks instead of four ticks. That one's on four, that one's on two. Okay, so you have something that looks like that. Right there you want to put dust. Okay. On the bottom power line, you want to make sure you have a pulse extender, which is just a really small one. It's just going to extend the pulse three ticks, which is just enough for this to extend and retract, or the top one to extend and retract so that the bottom one won't leave it up there. Okay, so now what we need to do is connect the power to the top, and what I do for that is a simple little staircase with uh, redstone dust. So dust, 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 dust. Okay, just like so. Now from here, if I were to put power to this, what you'll see is it extends, but the retraction is not fully there. And it's really odd that this happens because it's literally the exact same thing as what's going on on the side. But it's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to send in a um, pulse shortener and it's going to add, like, pretty much just going to send a second short pulse after everything's turned off so that this will uh, grab up that block after it's already been retracted. Okay, so. Right here, what I do is I put a little couple of repeaters like so. Um, the one on the left, one tick. The one on the right, four ticks. Okay. Right here, I put a repeater, or a piston, sticky piston, and a block in front of it. Right here, put a block, 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 block. Oops. Block, block. And then right here, blocks going down in a staircase fashion and meeting up with your other power line. Okay. So, let's grab the dust from there. And then right here, I like to put a repeater. And right here, I like to put a repeater down and then let's just go ahead and power these repeaters up I think it's actually less than that is necessary but we're gonna go ahead and test that first and see how that works out full extension and full retraction okay so I'm gonna go ahead and minus this down to one tick instead of four ticks and just see if it works see how much faster we can get that that second pulse there to happen that's much faster. Okay, let's see if we can make it a little faster. I'm gonna try two ticks over here. So half of that repeater instead of the full thing. Um, just like so. Ah, oh, okay, that's not quite enough. So let's try three. Maybe that'll do it. There it is. Now we got a full, very quick uh, piston double piston vertical extender for the bottom part of our smiley face. So now we've got the smile part of our smiley face. So now we just got to get the eyes to drop down and that's the easiest part. You just go ahead and extend four blocks like, or six blocks like so. Um, actually, all you need to extend is two blocks, but <laughs> you'll get the idea. Um, you actually do need to extend all of these so that you can have the roof for your hallway anyway. So, okay. So there's all the separate sections. Now let's go ahead and break all our levers and connect everything. Okay, so what I like to do is add in a uh, piston uh, T flip flop. Piston activated T flip flop. So let's go ahead and extend our floor all the way over here. Like so, to the end of our contraption, like so. Alright, and then let's extend this wall, and this wall, all of these, there we go. And then let's extend our roof. So now what I like to do is add in a uh, creeper face sandstone block, the chiseled sandstone. Um, if you have Xbox version, what I usually do is chisel stone, that way it's the circular stone block and it looks a little nicer. It's just a, it's just to stand out and kind of make it look like the button belongs on that block. Okay, so on the back side here, what I'm going to do, oh actually hold on, the recording's going to end. Okay, back. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this down here. Like so. Okay, just like so. 
So you have three blocks, two going directly down in diagonal, one turning to the right in diagonal. And you're going to want to put dust, 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 and right, actually, you know what, right here, put a repeater instead. Right here, you're going to put a block. Right here, you're going to put a block, break that block. Right here, you're going to put a block. Oops, you know what, you should not break that block yet. Place that block first, and then break that block. Also break that block. Okay, and then you're going to want to place a block here, and a block here. Not yet, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and place a piston, some dust, a torch, piston, oh, you know what, I, I totally placed that in the wrong spot. That's quite surprising, actually. I've built so many of these recently. Okay, um, let's fix this stuff that I'm breaking. Right there, I need a block. This block can be destroyed now that we have that piston placed. Place a block right here in front of that piston. Torch right there. Block. Dust on top. Alright. So now what I like to do is just take that power directly up to this. Okay, so that's really simple. Um, just extend it out like this. Up one. Up one. And then finally the last one right there. So, let's go ahead and do dust, dust, dust. And now that side is extended. Okay. So now we want to connect this to the roof section. So let's go ahead and grab a block right there. Oops. Break that block. Place a block right there. Break that block. Place a block right there. Break that block. Let's go ahead and place a block right there. And then let's go ahead and do dust. There, right there, right there, right there, right there. Let's go ahead and do a repeater right here just in case. Dust, dust, dust. Okay, and then over here, we want to connect down to that. So let's go ahead and bring this over here. And let's go ahead and get some, a little staircase set up here. Break that block, place that block, place that block. So dust, dust, dust dust all the way across like so and then right here at the bottom what I'm going to do is put a little repeater right there to extend that power all the way and then okay from here the smile's done except for the bottom part of the mouth so we've got a, a weird kind of closed middle part of the mouth I don't know it's kind of weird anyway let's connect this down right here. Let's bring a block down here. A little further. Put another torch right here. Dust on top of both of these blocks. And then all you gotta do is connect this to this. Oh, but that's actually not where you want it to connect. You want it to connect on the other side. So once I connect this redstone dust, this door will be complete. My uh, 5x5 smiley face door. This is my second 5x5 door to feature on my channel. The first one was the uh, checker door. But I'm very excited to have brought you this door. I hope this helps you in your builds. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's just go ahead and see it in action real quick. And there's the full extension and retraction. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this redstone tutorial, and I'll see you all next time. Please like, share, and subscribe.